Hey everyone, hey Facebook. Let me get Instagram set up over here. Hey, hey, day two, Merry Money Challenge. I'm so excited. Excited to hang out with you guys today. Um, we've had so many breakthroughs in our group just from the conversation that we had on day one. So I can't wait to see how the rest of this week goes for you guys. Um, let's just check this out here. Okay, I think we are good to go. All right, so um, if you have questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment section and I will go at the end of the video and answer all the questions just like I did yesterday. So welcome to the second day of the five day challenge that will show you how to manifest an extra 100, 500 or more dollars into your life, okay? Um, if you're new to this video, make sure you jump back to day one and, um, excuse me, and watch day one first. That way this makes sense. Okay, so if you're on Facebook, um, you can find it in the group or on my profile. You can, um, if you're on Instagram, you can find it in my IGTV series. So if you follow the exact steps I give you, I have no freaking doubt that you are going to manifest money into your life within five days. I can promise you guys that. Um, I do uh, recommend that, you know, having a notebook on hand because at the end of each, um, during each session here, I'm going to give you guys a couple exercises to make this happen for you. So it'll be easier for you if you guys can just um, write it down. And of course, the more fun you're having with this, the easier this is going to be. So always make sure that you are having fun, you're excited about this, you know, don't stress yourself out too much, okay? Um, and again, if you have questions, just feel free to pop them into the comment section. Um, okay, so see here. So today, just take a drink of water first. Today is all about um, raising our vibration to match that of money. Okay. So as I've mentioned before, money is energy Ener it, and it is a very high vibe energy. Okay. So the higher vibe we are, the more that, you know, you can attract into your life. So we're going to clear some more space today and <laughs> hold, hold tight with me here. I know we cleared some space yesterday, but um, this time it's not going to be in your wallet or in your house. Okay. However, that may be a nice side effect of this, which is really cool. But, um, you know, uh, as I've mentioned before, you know, money is just energy. It's a hi, Tanya. Glad you can make it on. Um, money is just energy. It's a high vibe energy. So the higher we are, the more we can attract. So again, the first exercise today is going to be clearing out negative energy. All right. So if you have your notebook handy and if you don't, just make sure, you know, you jump back here and you can just write this stuff down. You do not have to accomplish all of this in the video. You can always work on this over the next 24 hours until we meet again. OK, um, of course, the sooner you do it, the sooner you commit to it, the sooner you will be able to see the shifts and, you know, see things come into your life. So. All right. So on your paper, create a list of situations, of people, and events that you know you must forgive. These are situations that are, you know, kind of weighing on you that you feel like, um, you know, are, are that gives you just a shitty feeling. Like um, you don't you don't feel happy when you think about them. I know. Um. So you know, write down anything that you feel has a negative impact on your life. And, um, you know, you can go back from as early as you can remember, guys. Okay. So like go back all the way to your childhood, <laughs> whatever situations had a negative impact on your life. Okay. Um, make sure you write those down. Now you can look for situations that pertain specifically to money. However, um, you don't have to stop just at, at just that you can always, you know, add other things that, that are just feeling, making you feel like shit. So, um, you know, doing 
anything to unblock the flow of energy is going to allow more money into your life. So um, create your list, make it as long as you can. Um, you know, remember the more we clear out, the more that can come. So it's up to you. How far do you want to take this? Um, personally, whenever I, I first did this for the first time, I think I wrote down 25 things. Um, however, I would, if you the least I would do is 10 at this, for this exercise. But again, go as far as you can go. All right. And again, it does not have to be just situations that pertain to money. It can be. It can be any situation in your life that um, is just causing you to feel shitty. So here are some examples of what I wrote down. I want to give you guys an idea of where I'm going with this. So I use some that pertain to money and I use some that didn't. All right. So these were just five examples that I wrote, wrote down the first time I ever did this. The first one was um, the time that I didn't make any make a Christmas money fund and I was not able to buy gifts for my family. The time I was at the grocery store where my card got declined and I had to put all of my groceries back. The one time that my parents wouldn't buy me an iPod for Christmas. Remember back in the day whenever those came out. <laughs> my husband's parents were treating me like shit. And the one time I yelled at my kids because I was so overwhelmed. So sometimes we find that. Sometimes we find that the, the, the what we have to forgive the most is ourselves um a lot of times we hold back and um we hold ourselves in such a shitty energy because we don't want to forgive ourselves um so you get the idea you get the idea of where i'm going with this um so we can go back and forgive each situation one at a time and um it, it's remember whenever you're thinking of this forgiveness means that you release it from yourself and you are no longer allowing it to affect your energy OK, this has nothing to do with the other person or the person that hurt you or the person that gave you that feeling. This has nothing to do with any of them. OK, this is for you. OK, because, again, holding on to those low vibrational feelings is only hurting you. It's not hurting anyone else. It's hurting the amount of money that you're attracting into your life. It's hurting the amount of you know joy that you can personally feel. OK, so it's like a give and take. Right. If, if you're you know, if you, you feel like you're down here, you know, and the energy of money is up here. The more you release out of this space, the higher you can raise up. OK. I hope that I hope that makes sense. <laughs> um, so the second exercise will also raise your vibration. OK, um, so here, here I'm going to give you an example. Imagine that you made a gift for your best friend, your mom, your husband, whatever. And, um, you know, you worked your ass off on it. You spent all the time. You, you thought it was the perfect gift. You were so excited to give it that, to them. You were thrilled about it. And um, you gave it to that person and they just looked at it and kind of tossed it to the side. No, thank you. No. Wow, this is great. Nothing. All right. You would probably feel pretty. <laughs> you would probably feel pretty shitty. Um, However, this is how some people go about life. And um, whenever we show, can you please stop? Coco, Carter, can you put the dog outside, please? So, um, you know, whenever we show unappreciation for our everyday things in our lives, we don't allow any room for the universe to show us, you know, the miracles and the magic of manifesting things. So, um, you know, the universe responds to our vibration. Okay. So gratitude is one of the highest vibrations that we can have. So on your paper for the second exercise, again, I would write down at least 10 things that, um, you are grateful for. This is going to help raise your vibration and, um, you know, again, just clear out that space for yourself. So if you're having trouble with this, just think about the fact that you are breathing right now, that you're watching this right now, that you're able to, um, you know, use your voice, that you woke up today, that you, um, that you, 
you know, I'm trying to think that you're able to just to just be here, to just live. Like there's so many little things and they're not little, but you know, this, this can be a really big snowball effect if you allow it to take off, okay? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's funny. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> um, so gratitude is a magic key when it comes to opening up channels of your divine abundance, okay? It is the key that will unlock limitless pathways for you to tap in tune in turn on to the flow of abundance money everything okay so the last exercise of the day is um giving the money you are manifesting a purpose okay so remember money itself is energy it has it only has the meaning that you attach to it okay and that is all so um write down your number that you want to manifest. Write down, um, you know, what that is. We'll we'll say it's a hundred dollars, for example. And I will. Um, I'm going to give you some examples of what you can do here. So, okay. All right. If you have a hundred dollars, okay, this is what I mean by giving it a purpose. Say, you know, say you want to you want to put. Hey, why are we hitting me? You want to go hang out with brother? Mommy's almost done. Can you hang out with her, bud? <laughs> no. So, um, okay, so $10 for a gift for my sister, $25 to pay for my credit card bill, $10 to put into my saving, and $55 for groceries. Okay, so you see how I just split that up to, um, to what I intend to do with it, okay? And this is, this is just an example. This isn't actually what I'm going to do with it, but you see what I'm saying here. You get the idea. Um, even if you are taking it all and you are putting it all in your savings, just say that. Just say, you know, I'm manifesting $100 to put straight into my savings account just so that it has a direction. OK, it's like a, you're giving it <laughs> you're giving it your a GPS. OK, it needs to know where to go. OK, so um, don't get attached to how it's how it's being delivered. Just trust that it's going to show up. OK. Um, you're basically placing your order right now. This is like, look at it this way. This is like ordering food. Okay. Can you not do that, baby? Um, this is like ordering food. Okay. So think about it. You know, you're spending $12 on some fried rice. You're spending another $5 on some egg rolls. You see what I'm saying? Okay. And then you're not worried about, oh, are they going to get my order right? I mean, unless they're really bad at it. Right. But um, <laughs> you get what I'm saying. So go ahead. Okay, well, then you gotta hang on. So over the next 24 hours, here's what I want you to do. Continue practicing your 30 second movie, feeling your emotions of how you're gonna feel. Write out your forgiveness list, okay? Again, try to at least have 10 things on there, but if you can continue to, sometimes once you get going, the snowball just takes off, okay? And then write out your gratitude list. And same thing with that, try to have 10 things, but again, as the um, as the momentum gets going, you might just again just continue to go as far as you can with this, um, and then make a list of the purpose you're giving your money, and then let it go. Okay, just let go, let go, let go, and just get excited and get ready to receive. Okay, guys. So this is the that's the end of day two. That's all I have for you guys today. Um, Instagram froze over here. So there's that. Okay. So if you have questions, if you're watching the replay, feel free to drop them in the comment section. I'm going to come back this afternoon and I'm going to answer all the questions in there. Um, I know we had some really great conversations going on there yesterday when, um, for day one, you know, there was a lot of great breakthroughs and great questions that, you know, kind of this can trigger you to, um, to have because, Again, some of you are chartering into unchartered chartering into unchartered territory right now. You've never done this before, and that's totally okay. Um, so this is something to, you know, if you have a question, there's no stupid questions. There's no questions that, um, you know, most people like myself have not heard before or have asked myself, okay? Um, so I'm not new to this. So 
just keep asking the questions, keep having the breakthroughs. This is what is going to make this happen faster for you, okay? And of course, follow the steps. I can't stress this out enough. I can't physically do the steps for you. So this is where it is, you know, a co-creation process, right? Because I can give you all the tools, tell you all the things to do, but I can't physically do them for you, okay? And if you wanna get the results, make sure you are following the steps. All right, guys, I'm gonna jump off here. I hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you for um, seeing my tiny humans as they want to also, you know, record videos and stuff. <laughs> um, but all right, guys, I will talk to you tomorrow.